Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Mark Dixon. Well, the month of November is in its uh, final hours, more or less, with just about, uh, well, just less than 36 hours to go until we kick off December. And this month has been fairly wet. In fact, it is on track to be the second wettest since records have been kept with a total of 8.25 inches for the greater Hartford area. So the year, if it were to end today, would go down as the seventh wettest, but uh, with over 32 days left in 2018, we could see that move up a bit. So we'll keep you updated, of course, as we head through the coming days and weeks. Right now, early warning pinpoint Doppler, a welcome scene here, uh, a dry scan, border to border, and that will be the case as we head through the rest of this Thursday. Temperatures still holding on to the upper 30s in the northwest hills, elsewhere inland 40 to 45, mid 40s also along the 95 quarter. But this wind that's up out of the northwest sustained 15 to 25 miles an hour, sustained nearly to 30 miles an hour in Groton, certainly adding an extra chill to the air, feeling more like the mid 30s, if not even the mid and upper 20s uh, throughout Litchfield County. So uh, one place you don't have to worry about the wind because you'll get to enjoy a holiday light Fantasia from the comfort of your car is at Goodwin Park and this runs from 5 to 9 tonight. Um, $15 per vehicle and those temperatures dropping with that clear sky and the wind diminishing by early tomorrow morning. We're going to be bottoming out in the mid 20s for many communities. So right now our eye cam view from Torrington showing uh, the broken deck of clouds there in the northwest hills. A similar scene looking to the north. There's the Aragoni Bridge of course connecting over to Portland Route 9 the Connecticut River. Uh, not bad from the inside looking out and our view here from uh, southeastern Connecticut checking in on the tugboat sun and clouds as well. So uh, any sort of snow today is up to our northeast across Maine, much, much lesser in extent and coverage compared to what we were dealing with 24 hours ago. But it's this area of low pressure aloft that's uh, hanging out across the Canadian Maritimes. It's uh, continuing this northwesterly wind and uh, something we'll have to contend with through the rest of today. But high pressure just to our southwest builds in tonight. So that relaxes the wind and sets the stage for that chilly start tomorrow morning. So here is future cast to the rest of today. We'll say sun and clouds otherwise dry. Overnight tonight we clear out and then tomorrow we'll start off I think with limited sunshine. Some sunshine in the morning and then uh, clouds will be on the increase. Here's 7 in the morning as we head toward lunchtime tomorrow. Clouds uh, moving in from, from west to east and by around 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon rain across Pennsylvania heads up in our direction. So perhaps as this disturbance is weakening as it heads toward southern New England, the bulk of the precipitation staying to our south, perhaps a late evening. So this is after the commute tomorrow, uh, perhaps a, an isolated rain or snow shower shouldn't be too impactful. It's this upcoming weekend that we'll see a better chance for rain statewide that could be heavy. Saturday, we start the day dry, uh, sun and clouds by 5 o'clock, still dry, but it's points thereafter, 8, 9, 10 o'clock, that rain begins overspreading the state heavy at times as we head toward Sunday morning, and that rain lingers into the midday hours on Sunday. Now, Sunday afternoon, temperatures pop into the mid 50s, a welcome change, about 10 degrees warmer than Saturday afternoon. Then Monday, uh, as that storm system departs, it's going to be windy but dry, upper 40s. Then we're watching late Tuesday into Wednesday of next week for a potential coastal storm. Models kind of all over the place at this point. So it's a time frame of interest. One thing that we're certain of, of course, is this weekend forecast as it will be wet as opposed to wintry and we'll kick off the month of December with more rain. All right. So there I have it. Rain. All right. Well, maybe it would be a little pretty if it was just a little dusting of snow when people got their trees. I'm looking trees. forward to the 50s on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That will be nice. All right.